With drama, it was a tour that had some of the tracks from drama, the ones we were really good on, and most probably didn't have a few others. I mean, we could look up the act, you know, find out if, if that's true. Because at that time, we weren't doing a performance of drama as an album, which of course is what we've just done. So it gives us a great opportunity to, with the distant past, and, and, and Jeff and I and Alan on that record originally, uh, with of course Chris and Trevor Horn. So uh, it gives us a great chance to look at it in a whole new light because we didn't play the whole album then for sure. And uh, we're now into this album series uh, where we can play an album the way it is from the beginning to end, um, you know, in the sequence of the track. So um, there was a lot of new challenges there. I, I particularly thought, wow, I mean, we've done Machine Messiah, we've done Tempest Fugit, but everything I've been doing we haven't played for, for absolutely years, you know. But again, great to be doing something that feeds the mind and you think, wow, I'm we're playing like that. Some of it sounded amazingly difficult at first and, and I even said to Trevor Hall one day, he, I said, we've been listening to drama, you know. He's like, yeah. And we thought Into the Lens might have to be edited because um, there's some things in there, very, very tricky. You know, I mean, there's versions of a piece done in this way and then they come back and then something else returns. But they're, they're quite uh, detailed arrangements. But in the end, we stuck by the record completely and played it, you know, note, pretty much note for note. With, with the addition of an ending here and there that obviously a fade isn't done usually on, on stage. But um, drama was really exciting. Not only do I dearly love playing Machine Messiah, it's so exciting to play. It has so many kind of um, flavours in it, you know, with Trevor Horn coming in and doing a lot of the lyric work. And, uh, you know, it was just a sensationally great chemistry period when we made that record, Tempest Fugit, and those things are all examples of of a group that felt like a real band. I mean, it really was alive inside. It was alive and kicking. And uh, I guess we were sort of rebellious as well, you know, playing a lot of heavy, fast things that demanded a lot of, you know, a, a, a lot of re a recording techniques. And, you know, fortunately, although Eddie started for a few weeks, Eddie offered recording the tracks. That didn't last. We recorded a few tracks with him. But then we went with Hugh Padgham and he was engineering us. So we had a terrific team of people in the townhouse studios, and it was a fairly long, long project. But uh, you know, uh, going back to it, playing it live was full of freshness because you know, unlike Tales, which was kind of aged like an old wine, you know, somehow drama was was more like, wow, listen to this stuff. I mean, listen to this band. So, and there were a wonderful segment of our audience that really got in, into drama. I mean, some maybe didn't, but. You know, we brought a lot of people into into the frame by playing it live.